Chris, you've been obviously around for this rivalry game quite a bit. Uh, what makes it stand out for you? Um, it's just uh, obviously a really fun game every year. It's a historic rivalry. Um, you know, we get to play every year, alternating back and forth, our place, their place. Always a good crowd, always a lot of excitement surrounding it. So it's definitely a privilege to, to be a part of a game like this. Do you guys feel that from the crowd when, when you go onto the field? Obviously, you try to block stuff like that out, but are these the games where you kind of you can feel that a little bit more? Yeah, it's definitely a game you like to have at home um, against a big rival like this because, yeah, like I said, everybody gets real excited about it. You know, the students are into it, all the other fans are into it. So, yeah, the crowd's definitely a big part of it. Chris, what kind of, uh, I guess, momentum comes from winning against a rival like USC going into a bye week. Does that kind of give you guys a, a good way to reset going into the next game once you have that week off? Sort of? Yeah, I mean, beating a rival always just feels good no matter the circumstances, you know. Kind of records are thrown out the window when you're playing a rivalry game because everybody everybody wants it just as bad um, no matter what the circumstances are. So it's always a good feeling if you can get the win and, you know, you celebrate in the locker room and, and then uh, – like you said, take that take that feeling and move it forward. Did uh, what what do you what do you see from USC's defense? What makes them a challenge? Um, they always have a lot of really good athletes. Obviously, you know they they get a lot of the best players coming out of high school, and uh, they play hard. But you, how much does it help the offense just getting guys back? You know, um, you know, starting with Cole and then Young, and you know, just getting all the weapons back. How much do you think that's helping you guys as a whole? And maybe Ian. And yeah, I think it helps a lot to just have uh, more and more guys coming back that, that are weapons for the offense and, you know, the ball can get spread around and defense has more guys to worry about. Um, how would you assess how your season has gone individually so far? Um, you know, I've uh, I've had some disappointments, some personal disappointments. I think it's probably obvious if you've watched. Um, but, you know, it's my last, my last season here, so no time to uh, really – Think about that in terms of dwelling on it more so, just learning on it. And what are some of the, what are some of the things you're trying to improve on now as the season goes on, as you try to hurdle those disappointments? Um, I'm just you know relaxing and enjoying it. Um, like I said, it's been my last season, just just playing football and having fun. Chris, when you go through those kind of like ruts, I guess when obviously you've been maybe exceeded expectations a lot of years from the from the outside looking in, and then. Um, maybe now you have certain expectations for yourself. Um, how how difficult is that to overcome, and the frustration that comes with it? And then how do you overcome it? Um, well, I've always had expectations for myself, no matter what anybody else has set for me. Um, but you know, obviously, it's frustrating when you don't meet your own expectations. And um, like I said, just getting through it is just realizing how lucky I am to be here and playing football, and how much I love my teammates my coaches and just playing for this university and um, just keeping that, that in the back of my mind. Has it been extra motivation, I guess, then, each week just to be like, all right, I want, I want to show once again what, what I'm made of? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess you could say that. I'm not really thinking about proving myself every time I go out on the field. Like I said, I'm kind of just trying to play football and have fun with it. Any more questions for Chris? Thank you, Chris.